This is a short uh, piece of writing by our friend Mark Fox, who has graciously allowed me to read it for you guys. Toss us a like and a comment. I was still a young man when I first discovered Kal Al Ghul. I had spent several years locating it, as it did not appear on any map. I questioned countless cartographers. They would either claim they had no knowledge of such a place, or they would quickly look away, spit, and make the sign of the evil eye. Still, there are other ways to locate that which is hidden. I had learned in my travels of a way to obtain certain information. There are caves located far into the desert, and deep inside those caves lives a particular type of spider. It is most unusual, as it is a true omnivore. It's one caveat, it eats only toxic, poisonous, and venomous plants, insects, and animals, and so on. This makes for quite an unusual specimen. It is said consumption, seven of these creatures grants one insight into hidden things. As the caves are pitch black, luckily over the millennia, they have become luminescent. Their fat bodies pulse a mottled green and black glow and are easily located. As I mentioned, they must be consumed and consumed alive, which in and of itself isn't a daring feat. However, once consumed, one becomes toxic, compounded with the fact they cannot survive outside of this particular environment. One must swiftly make it to the surface and consume them immediately. Here lives the second task. Once consumed, one will either die instantly, suffering irreversible insanity, or drift into a long dream state, the latter being the goal. Now I must mention the desert, as this particular place contains things, entities no one worships, unnamed horrors, the sly man learns the ways of the desert, appease the strongest, feed the swarm, and carry currency. On my first trip to the desert, I learned much. The half-dead are always willing to deal, as they are constantly looking for a way back. They gave me countless information for mere scraps. Next, I documented everything. No price of information, no piece of information was discarded. Second, I began raiding graveyards nightly. It is important to note all manner of desert creatures are willing to trade in human flesh, living and dead. Lastly, magics. Dark, bloody, ghastly, unholy magics. At this point in the story, I feel I must mention my reasons for the treacherous path of which I had taken. Simple. I need to know all things. At this point in my life, I had amassed everything there was in the realm of knowledge of man. Now I sought the knowledge of the old ones, the hidden, the unclean. And in obtaining this knowledge, I might understand the great mysteries of the universe or universes. Also, in the passage of time, if in this knowing I should accumulate great power, well then, that would be an acceptable byproduct. The place where my journey would begin was Kalb al -Ghul. I fir first met Freshte in Alexandria. I was leaving the great repository, and he was reclining on the steps, casually eating dates from a bag. As I passed, he said, whatever platitude, for the popular god of the area, I merely grunted. He raised an eyebrow, stood and absently brushed at non-existent crumbs. 
He was exceptionally tall. Myself being tall, I seldom had to look up to anyone. His complexion was as dark as his countenance. I posited he was from one of the Bedouin tribes that lived far south deep in the desert. However, his accent eluded me. He broke my train of thought when he said, You are not a believer? I said, I am indeed a believer in a great many things, just not your God. That's the end of that piece. Please like and share.